So it never rains in California, but this last couple weeks we've got quite a bit. Um, I think we're officially out of a drought. This week has been pretty heavy and my backyard is flooding. I'm gonna have to do things I've never done before. Hello, hello. So this last week's vlog, um, I was editing last night and realizing getting back into this rhythm of vlogging, I haven't been introducing like different parts of the week and what I'm doing. And so as I was editing, it was really, really choppy. So I am now going to attempt to narrate you through this last week so I can draw some sort of narrative and so it will make some sort of sense. Second, our team has been growing a little bit at designing. Uh, there's lots of other needs like social media and PR, um, community management, and uh, we're a very lean startup, so we haven't hired um, a lot of full-time people outside of the product team, but we've been able to um, contract with some people. Um, and Dennis Cortez, one of our designers actually on the platform, um, is really good at social media, has a lot of very um, successful accounts. Um, I'll link them all below. Uh, but he came out uh, and visited us from uh, the other side of the country, and so it was great to have him in office. Our social media guy, contractor, say hello, Dennis. Hey guys, how's welcome, it going? welcome to the vlog. He's been killing it on our Instagram, and social tech, um, Twitter, all that stuff. Um, so good to have him. in. where are you from again? You're in you're in St. Louis. St. Louis, originally from Knoxville, Nashville, Nashville. Nashville. So Design Inc. Uh, Design Inc. is the startup where I work uh, currently here in Costa Mesa. Um, we're trying to connect creatives, um, designers, photographers, videographers with different projects and different companies and entrepreneurs. We sponsored this last week um, an event called Connecting Things here in Costa Mesa. Um, we have a lot of good friends that uh, have been involved in that and have made this great, rich uh, group of uh, creatives here in, in Orange County. They had a freelance panel and we had the opportunity of sponsoring that event. It was super fun um, and was exciting to kind of see everyone come together and have Design Inc. be a part of that. Tonight, Design Inc. is sponsoring our friends event, Connecting Things. We're here at University of California, Irvine. Gonna be a great day. I'm excited to hear the freelance panel and hang out with some good friends. Actually, Oakland and out of the meter. He goes in Berkeley with a communist reader. Mine was in tune with a boombox and walkman. I was a horrible girl that was back then. The gloves and loves, the wisdom teeth. I love what you on about. Okay, so I've been talking about keto um, in the last episode or two, and uh, I don't want to be like one of the CrossFit vegan, always talking about my health kick thing that I'm on. I don't consider myself to be a very healthy person. I've never worked out a ton um, or been successful with diets. Kind of leave a disclaimer that I have, I'm just learning about this. Um, I have I'm no way like, you should not be taking this as like the way to do things. This is just me talking about my experience. So the, the premise of, of a ketogenic diet, from my understanding, you're depleting all of the sugar um, in your body. So that's all sugar and carbohydrates because all those carbs um, convert to sugars in your body. So you deplete your body of all sugars um, and essentially force it to use fat instead of sugar as an energy source. Um, you do that by obviously not eating any sugar or carbohydrates. Um, so you have the first two or three days of starting this diet, you go into a thing called keto flu, where your, your body's going through that transition, it's a little odd. Mine wasn't too bad, I got nauseous one day. Um, but once you're officially in ketosis, that's where the magic starts happening. So before I started this diet, I hit up um, a good friend, an old design manager, 
at Google that I know. His name is Mike Holzer. We had him on the Undo Show here at Design Inc. Uh, about a month ago. I'll link that below, show it here. But essentially, one of the staples of this diet is, is fat, and a great, efficient way to get that fat in the morning is Bulletproof Coffee. Bulletproof Coffee is just a fancy word and brand for coffee with um, grass-fed butter, either coconut oil or MCT oil. So I'm just gonna go through some of the like things that have been kind of core parts of me doing this diet. Um, I'll link Amazon links below if you guys are interested and wanna start, as well as some articles and books if you guys wanna read up. Bulletproof coffee is essentially two cups of coffee, um, two tablespoons of MCT oil, two tablespoons of grass-fed butter. I have one of these every morning, and then diesel, get out, diesel, get out of there. So I have one of these Bulletproof coffees every morning. Um, and then I usually have either ground bison or ground beef with butter, cheese, egg, avocado, and sometimes sour cream. Um, I'm usually not very hungry for um, lunch, so sometimes I'll have like a small salad with um, protein on it um, with a fatty dressing. And then dinner I'll have like another protein with cheese or some fat. There's one time I did get sick uh, and I felt very nauseous. From what I've read, that is a symptom of dehydration. Um, so Mike also referred this stuff to me, it's called Light Show. It is a rapid rehydration um, fluid. It's no sugars, no calories, nothing artificial. Um, you basically put like four milliliters of this and 32 ounces of water down that, and it brings up all of your sodium levels, all of your electrolytes, all the things that you need hydration-wise. Last thing um, are these uh, ketone test strips. You pee on these and they uh, turn a certain color and you can tell um, how many ketones are in your body. Very nerdy. Um, Food-wise, I've, I've, I've never been, I've never done, bought anything that looks like this. But um, I feel great, honestly, more than anything, more than the weight loss. This MCT oil, they say, it has a lot of effects on your brain and your um, cognition. Right now, like it's, it's early. It's I got here at eight. Like when you have like a Red Bull, you get like a jittery high. I have that, but like it feels completely natural, and I'm awake and I'm alert. There's this weird focus that I've had in the last three weeks that have been more efficient. Um, and more productive at work and getting design done than I have had in years. And so for me, it's, it really is like gold in the sense that I feel like I'm on point at work. My ideas are sharp. I think that's it. Hopefully I didn't say anything that was wrong. If you do know a lot more than me about this, which shouldn't be hard to do, please leave comments so those that are interested can um, learn from everyone. Oh, one of the last thing, I almost forgot. When you make your bulletproof coffee and you put like two teaspoons two tablespoons of butter in coffee, it'll melt. A lot of people put it in the blender, but then you're ruining your whole blender. Um, my friend Mark Beckland sent me a link to this little gem. It's like six bucks or four bucks. Morit, like, whisker. Uh, essentially, when I make my coffee in the morning, I put my butter uh, in the coffee, in my oil, when it's like half full, because it's two cups of coffee. Put this little guy in there, froths it up, melts it, makes everything nice and blended, rinse it off. Great little handy um, efficiency hack thing so you don't have to waste your blender on two cups of coffee. It's actually Oakland and out of the meter. He goes in Berkeley with a communist reader. Mine was in tune with a boombox and walkman. I was a horrible girl that was back then. The gloves are off, the wisdom teeth are off. Also, I'm not just a designer, I'm a dad, as you guys have seen. I'm trying to get the balance of like design and family, dad stuff right, uh, but selfishly I document a lot of the family stuff just because, uh, for my own personal sake of having my kids documented and kind of our adventures together. Uh, my wife has a lot of great friends in Orange County due to the wedding industry. Uh, one of them has a boyfriend that uh, is like one of the volunteer scuba divers at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach. So they invited us to come out and see him. They did a little shout out. Uh, so it was a fun little adventure that we had this last weekend with my boys and my family. So I'm gonna slap it in here at the end. Do you wanna see sharks? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Oakland and out of the middle. He goes in Berkeley with a communist reader. Mine was in tune with a boombox and walkman. I was a horrible girl that was back then. Oh, Daddy! Look! Daddy! 
mention on the in this last week it's not in this video uh, but I posted in last week's video a tutorial on designing material design uh, this obviously wasn't a very designy vlog but that post um, on medium and that video have been doing really 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 well and I've been getting a lot of feedback and people have found it very useful so this last week I created a new playlist on this channel that's going to be focused just around design tutorials and tech reviews and kind of nerdy like work stuff um, this vlog, I might sprinkle some of that in there, uh, but this is going to be more like family, behind the scenes at work, you know, my daily struggles and, and you know, successes and those kind of things. But uh, creating a whole separate playlist outside of the vlog for just kind of nerdy design stuff and really excited to make more videos and um, provide for the community and have a conversation there. Um, I actually have a call today and a couple hours with a friend, Jeffrey Jackson. Um, he's going to talk to me about uh, how to actually implement proper uh, baseline grids for typography. So I'm going to release a follow-up video. If uh, you liked that last video last week, um, watch out for this one coming up. Um, I should be releasing it in the next couple days. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you do the keto thing and Bulletproof Coffee, let me know. Uh, subscribe. So I think I found a solution. I don't know if it's an elegant one. Back here I have only one drain that keeps clogging. Behind me I've got three drains that are too high for the water to get to it. So I essentially have to sweep this water into that drain and I think we'll be okay. Punks would laugh when they saw us together Well they didn't know how to dress for the weather I could still see them there huddled on Aster Snow falling slow to the sound of the master The gloves are off the wisdom teeth